Hello, everyone. Welcome to day five of Activate Your Radiant Light. I am so glad you were here with us live or on the replay. I'm Aurora Light. I'm a joy alchemist and a soul embodiment guide who happens to have fallen in love with the language of light. And I've been having so much fun sharing all kinds of different experiences with light language with everyone over the last five days. And today I am absolutely thrilled to be bringing you my dear friend, Robbie Lee Berta, who is a trailblazer guide and who also is a mystic poet and shaman whose voice is so activating when I hear it when he speaks English. And I cannot wait to share his light language with you. Thank you so much for being here, Robbie. Thank you, Aurora. I feel so blessed to be here, to be able to share with you today. Mm. We are exploring all kinds of different ways of speaking light language, of using it in meditations and activations and all kinds of things. And one thing we have not done yet is demonstrated how you can use light language with someone else. And Robbie and I have worked together in the past, both in groups, and he actually worked with me one-on-one. -on -one. And one of our favorite things to do was to speak light language to each other. It was so activating. It was so illuminating. Afterwards, my heart was always exploding. So in a few minutes, we'll share that with you today. But I'm so curious, Robbie, what is your favorite thing about light language, at least in the way that you and I will be doing it today? And then you can expand into what it's meant to you to learn and activate your own light language. Well, I think one of the things that was really key for me was I always overanalyzed and was very critical over analytic about everything and connecting to light language are the divine child within me and just letting go of all that perception of mm -hmm. how things are supposed to be and just letting go letting go of you know the, what we've been told for so long because we have been hypnotized with lies that aren't necessarily true and it's just getting back to the basics of that divine spirituality that's within every one of us and me and you. And it's just letting go, being able to let go and getting into the natural flow. Hmm. I'm just breathing this in. Everything that Robbie said is always dripping and infused with these mystical tones and the poetry the creativity of his soul is so evident anytime that I see you, you are reminding me of the creative essence of both the universe and of my, my inner being. And sometimes we just wind up swooping and in, in rhyme to each other. And this happens when spirit is flowing through and I will be honest, before I met you, Robbie, when the rhyme would happen to me, I was like embarrassed. Some of you who might have been in my April five-day challenge would, would have witnessed this. All of a sudden, I'd be channeling and rhymes would be coming out and I'd be like, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> Do you remember that? A little bit. And that, that's kind of a little bit of a natural reaction we might have because again, you know, we're, we're told we have to be so professional and, and we have to come across like uh, this picture of a movie star that, that's memorized all these lines and has to say the exact words at the right time and that's not how that's not what we were created to do and be and when mm. you can feel into your soul everything starts to flow rhythmically mm. I'm just breathing that in as someone who came to spirituality through movement and through dance. Yes, yes, yes. And we can do that with our bodies, with our hands, but also with 
our heartbeat and our words and the essence of that rhythm that you share just made me realize how beautiful it can be to flow in the spoken word poetry. <laughs> so Robbie, there is so much that we could talk about when it comes to light language, but I would love for you for, to describe or define it for anyone who might be popping on and watching this, who is unfamiliar with what we're talking about. Well, I think the first definition that, that came to me about light language was it's like a heart language. It's speaking from the heart and without over you know, analyzing it or complicating it, speaking from the heart. And we all, we, we all notice this and we're aware of this, that people who lead from their heart, people who are truly authentic, when people speak authentically, you feel it. And it's, again, get, letting go of all those preconceived ideas and, and perceptions and just speaking from the heart. So keep it simple. Mm -hmm. I, I know I, I can definitely over over make everything so complicated. I mean, an analyzer, I have been, I was one of those that used to analyze, how come I analyze so much? <laughs> <laughs> I think many people can relate to that. We are taught to function from the brain, from the mind, right? I think therefore I am from the Renaissance and the revolution of the intellect and it needed to happen, right? But the mind is a beautiful tool for the soul and the heart is the place where both of them can come into coherence, I believe. So I absolutely adore when you call it heart language Sometimes I call it soul language, soul speak, because it does not get processed through the mind level. It is something that can be felt, that can be experienced. And the thing is, our feelings don't lie. Our minds can lie to us, right? But what we experience in our body is something completely different. And this is actually... I believe something that is very important for people, especially ones that are healers, coaches, practitioners, who are people who are wanting to bring in more clients. When we are speaking words, sometimes things get lost in the translation. And sometimes there is a level or layer of distortion because of the way people define words. We can get confused with all of that. Words might mean one thing to me and another thing to Robbie or my husband. We used to fight a lot about words that we define differently. Turns out we were talking about the same thing and using different words to describe it. But with light language, you are going beyond the mind level and feeling it in the body and in the soul. So I'm curious, Robbie, when you first heard me speak light language, um, was it actually the first time? And what was that like? I think it was the first time. I mean, it was the first time that I remembered. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was just, it magnetized to me. I just, I felt a resonance there, which I always knew. I always knew there was something, you know, something much more powerful than I, than just me and my thoughts. And when I heard it, it resonated with me and it was like, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I like that. I love this and I wanted to find out more. And uh, I think it's to exactly what I had been waiting for. That word you used, resonance, it's so important because that resonance shows us that we have a similar or a compatible harmonic frequency within us. And it's not that anyone that has a dissonant frequency is bad or wrong. In fact, dissonance can be incredibly powerful for clearing, for healing, for, for triggering us into growth right? But it feels so good to be 
surrounded by that resonant harmonic frequency to be with someone that you feel that essence, it just aligns into this um, place of harmony and ease. And there's a synergy to it as well that I find. And I'm so excited that you and I will be able to share some light language back and forth together because we do have a synergy. When any two people get together, something greater happens. It's not just one plus one equals two, right? We're adding in that overtone, the harmonic frequencies of the universe, of source, of our higher selves, right? Of, of God, of creation, however you want to put it, when we get to do things together. Absolutely. Mm. Listening to the little voice inside that's always been trying to be our guide, but it's it's a type of energy that's very freeing. It frees, it frees you up so that you can play within the realms of what you were really created to be. And we can do this with joys and joy and ease. You know, it doesn't have, like you've told me and you, you speak of all the time, it doesn't have to be that hard anymore. And mm -hmm. just, it's an experience. If you just feel into it, it will change your life forever. Yes. <laughs> yes, brother, it is life changing. Before we dive into our duet, and Robbie's going to bring us into the heart space, as you can feel, he's already doing that through our words, through his words, through the sound frequency. But we're going to be accessing a level of freedom that I know is relatively new for you. And that is the freedom for the inner child to come out and play. Would you share a little bit about what that means? And oh, pardon me, these. <laughs> notifications make loud noises on my end. I'm sure you heard that as well. <laughs> what is what is freeing your inner child through light language, through these other things that you've been doing meant for you? Well, I had done some shadow work before in the past, but I've never really connected to the divine inner child within. And I came from a very tragic upbringing and I you know, as a child, I wasn't able to play and I didn't have a normal lifestyle at all. I was abandoned, I was very alone. And it was like, I always felt like I was kind of missing so much in my life. It was missing, there was a void there. I mean, I remember playing with my shadows because I was so lonely that they were my only friends. and. It's like an opportunity has come back. It's always been there for me, but now I can live in it authentically and daily. And I've opened, it opened up my mind to so much possibilities. And it's just like, I feel blessed that I said yes to my yes. It's so fabulous to have witnessed this mm, return to innocence, I want to call it, <laughs> for you. And so well deserved all of this access to the quantum realm, to these realms of joy that you experience now. And when you speak into them, it transports me there. So I'm, I'm really excited to share with people some of these activations. And Robbie has so many different gifts, as well as his voice, as well as the coaching that he does. We, he has shared an amazing quantum healing prayer with the Radiant Evolution Collective in the Soul Embodiment Summit that's in the units, if you're in the group that you can check. He can transport you to those places beyond boundaries where we feel that oneness and Robbie I would love for you to guide us deeper into that heart space that is the access point with 
um, your meditation before we begin. But I just want to make sure that everyone here is feeling ready. So if you're watching this live or on the replay, just let us know that you are ready to let those inner children out and play. Say, I'm ready to play. All right, great. All right. I am so grateful to be here with you now. So just want you to relax, preferably sitting in a straight position. Feet on the floor, connecting to Mother Earth as closely as possible. And just relax, relax the body as we drop in. And taking some deep, deep healing, cleansing breaths in and out. And just drop down, down, down into that sacred place and space within the heart divine. And continue taking some deep healing, cleansing breath, resting in the awareness of our breath transfers our life into a living meditation. And just letting go of any concerns of the future, for it's only a fantasy, and letting go of any residue from the past, for it's only history, so that we can be completely in the here and Right now. In and out again. In the here and now moment where pure creation exists, this now moment. I call to my sister and my very dear friend a sacred activation. Also, Lono Makawana Matuso Sanea Mea Quiena Tawana Kawala Mane Niso Kolusa Mene. Myote kani tashkena ayupo. Myote aye kashtata aye stanate ki. Dere aye tash. Kena ayupo iti kina aye tikita ayupo. Also, my name is Anna Kowani. So, Hasaka Oko in a look of Maka Shokoni Inda Shakwana Kea. Also, Mea Lua Na, Kawana Nike Silina, Kawanda Elise Lo No Mia. Biokiastena Ayoti, Ketaskana Ayo Pokiti, Tatana Aye, Aye Tokastena Aipo. Naxinena Kana. Also, when me te so me kalat ano palana niki e anama kio no ne mia. Also, la mea na se a ne away a se ka ano so mignifi sa quia. Also, la mea. Me amana imaye. Ne omo ya na ya imo i he ya ko mana o solo a mi a ni a so ko enda ne i o na so ko na la 
Breathe it in and soak in the vibration. Mm. Thank you so much, Robbie. Thank you for playing with me. <laughs> I just love this energy. Anyone watching can see and feel we look different than before we started that. And your conscious mind might have been like, what the heck was that all about? But the feeling that happens when you allow yourself to fully just flow and let whatever sounds, movements, tones just emerge out of you without censorship is so uplifting, so moving. It feels expansive and free and full of possibilities. Honestly, I feel 10 times better than I did when I first got on this call with you. And I want to thank you, Robbie, because you were the one that really taught me this year to not rush off to the next thing, to not speak in right away, but to truly sit and savor the energies. Mm. And I'm still learning. It's just the freedom, the freedom to be able to play this way, you know, is, I know me. We have the power within us. And this is truly a way that together we rise. Yes, and it's so beautiful to be able to co-create with somebody. Totally different than just me sitting here delivering an activation or Robbie delivering an activation, but co-creation is a new earth energy. It is what is gonna lead us forward when we are working together because again, that synergy, it was my favorite word when I was a teenager and I learned it. It was even, do you remember back when websites you would have not your own name, but you would use, you know, like a, a username and people would know you as that synergy was, this is unlocking a memory from like 20 years ago. I was synergy. And that is so important, not only to me personally, but for humanity, for us to come and rise together to greater heights than we could if we were alone. And being able to be completely free to speak and be and to be seen and to be felt and to be witnessed as you truly are 
not as the carefully crafted, cultivated words and image that you might want to show the world. It's a different, different game entirely. So it's just breaking down those walls and breaking those chains and setting hard and tell free, free of what we were designed and created to be. Mm -hmm. Simply, naturally, and it's so much fun too. <laughs> right? And it breaks down the walls of resistance. I noticed that too with the quantum healing prayer, also known as the formative brain, that when I would use like coaching with a client or whatever, I'd use that tool, break down those walls of resistance. All those thoughts, like the thoughts get in gridlock and just letting all that go, go away, go, and just connecting to the soul. Mm -hmm. The resistance, I mean, it's well founded because it's, it's when our body is not feeling fully safe to be us, to be open, to be vulnerable, to be raw, to be in full trust. And life has given you lots of situations that you have protected yourself from past life, this life, all of that. And our journey now collectively and individually is to go, okay, that was then. And it was perfectly appropriate when we were trying to survive. But I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm done with just surviving. I've been done for a long time. I am here to now thrive and express myself creatively and feel what it is like to remove those masks, remove the boundaries and be authentically me. And it was scary as crap when I first started. <laughs> Terrifying, I get that. And it is so freeing. And this is what the world needs now right now to ensure the survival of humankind. Mm. This is what's needed right now, mm -hmm. more than ever. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's amazing. I'm so grateful that I chose to be here now and to connect with you again. Mm. Mm. Me too, brother. It is a gift. It might seem like a curse at times to be in such an interesting point in human history, but this is where the masks and the things that were distorted and untrue are coming down, crumbling down. Systems that were distortions and corrupted are coming down and we are gonna be moving into something far more authentic and it's very exciting. So if you're watching this, I know you're someone who's here to anchor in that light as well. And being able to speak your authentic truth, your unique voice that might be saying things that other people are saying, but in the way that only you could say it with the energy that you carry is so needed right now. So what Robbie is speaking into is how light language has supported him, if I was hearing you correctly, in being able to come into that space of speaking your truth even more authentically. Am I catching that correctly? And opening up. It's an opening, an opening of the heart. An opening, just an opening up and sharing their love within us with everyone unconditionally as meant to be for you and me eternally. Unconditional love, non-judgmental, naturally non-judgmental of ourselves so that we can offer the same unconditional love to others too. United we rise in strength and in power. And it's just an amazing time to be here. And it's not going to be easy, but it's a challenge. And I enjoy the thrill because it really is so real. Mm. Yes. Are you feeling fired up and excited about the future? Like I am just speaking into Robbie Lee. He is a trailblazer guide. And um, I would love for people who are wanting to feel in more of this energy to know where they can find you, Robbie. Well, pretty simple. I mean, um, you make friends with me on Facebook. I do a lot by private messenger. Uh, 
And then also this, I'll provide a link to my Facebook group, Robbie Lee's Trailblazer Tribe. And we'll share a link for that too. You can also email me at trailblazercoaching at gmail.com. Here's how it sounds, P-R-A-I-L-C-O-A-C-H-I-N-G, trailblazercoaching at gmail.com. And I'm not hard to get a hold of. You know, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. And what trailblazers do is my specialty is, is I'm a spiritual healer, number one. But I really don't believe that we need to be fixed through that. We're broken. Okay. Healing more, is, it's a real familiar term with a lot of people. Um, healing diseases, the, the things that things in our life or thought patterns that we are diseased with, not at ease with, is trailblazers also create new narrow pathways or new trails within their mind. How we think about things, perceive things, and things that we no longer need, we leave behind. So we're creating new trails or new pathways within the mind and also getting a lot of people have a pretty good idea maybe what they want to do, but I help people figure out their path in their life or their trail and get more clarity mm -hmm. listening to the little voice within and getting more clarity on what their created and designed to do to be the best at what they were meant to be. So we have a lot of fun at Trailblazers. Uh, it's, it's an adventure. The adventure continues. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. This exploring energy and considering yourself a trailblazer, a pioneer, automatically puts people into their learning zone, right? You've got hope, you've got optimism, you're excited about the future, as opposed to how we could be sitting the other end of the spectrum of like, oh, we don't know what the unknown is going to hold and, and, and sitting in that fear of it. Anytime I tap into the energy that Robbie holds with the trailblazer pioneering energy, I get fired up about the future and that is how I would rather feel because I am envisioning and co-creating along with all of you this future where people are able to transform those limiting beliefs, access their highest self beyond the distortion, beyond all space and time, and then bring that into their body and express it through aligned action out into the world. And one of the ways that I do that is through light language. And I, of course, I've worked with you one on one, and we've done belief repatterning and all kinds of other things too. But the light language is something that I'm focusing on currently. And I'm creating a six week course that is going to pull out the light language that I do one on one and in my academy, and bring it into six weeks of speaking, singing, toning, signing, writing and drawing and include ways that you can activate your creative flow of your unique soul essence expression. So you can magnetize in abundance and clients and people that feel your soul energy. Cause you know what, if you're not being your authentic self, if you're not expressing that your soul family will not find you. As soon as I started to take off the, the mask and I started to be the weirdest version of me available, people like Robbie, brothers, other sisters, clients, they just started swarming into my field because they're like, oh, there you are. They could suddenly feel it. So I do also want to invite anyone that is interested to either the six-week course, or if you want to get a taste of some of the secrets that I use to unlock and activate like language, you can join me for a, a free masterclass tomorrow where we'll be going through my joyful alchemy system to transform, activate, and embody so you can speak from your soul. That's going to be at three o'clock mountain time. And there is a link just in this live, if you're watching or in the comments on YouTube. And there are replays available if you're not able to make it live. I'll also be explaining a little bit more about what that course would look like and what it would entail. So I'm curious, Robbie, you've had experiences of 
of doing light language in a group and practicing with some of the various different methods, right? The singing, the signing, the drawing, the writing. Um, what was it like doing that in that group energy field? The group energy, the collective energy is amazing. I mean, you could do these things on your own when you, when two or one are joined together, it becomes so much more powerful. And being in a group is just like, it's an amazing experience. It truly is almost like creating heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much more power and you see, you'll see other people just like you, you know, that are experimenting too letting go of the old ideas and stepping into something new and it's a creative expansive place and i know it was meant to be for me to be there hmm. for i have also been touched by dreams anytime you speak i feel the need to take a very deep breath afterwards so i can literally breathe those words into my body and feel them fully so if you see me pausing after Robbie speaks or, or anyone that is laying down profound truths, this is how I breathe it in. So I want to invite you all to take a big deep breath in with us. There's been so much wisdom laid down here today. And Robbie is so full of so much more. So I very much encourage you to follow him. You can join his group or you can check out some of the other videos that we have made together from the Soul Embodiment Summit. His quantum healing prayer is something to be experienced to understand fully. And um, there is just so much possibility happening right now. I would just love, Robbie, for you to leave us with some more words of, I'm going to say hope for the future and invitations for people to access their own unique soul essence and inner child. All right. Um, I know I'm really looking forward to your, to your uh, class, your class tomorrow at three. I'm all signed up. I get it on the calendar. I'm really excited about being there too. But I, words of hope to resonate. I know one of the first things is long time I lost my connect, my connection to being rhythmic, being poetic. Or whatever, and it wasn't until I had my awakening, which really wasn't all that long ago, but it was, I had, it was, the timing was right. And one of the first things that I had written after not really writing any poetry for almost 40 years, and just listen to the words, and if they resonate with you, then we'll be seeing you on the call tomorrow, too. Mm -hmm. The first thing that I wrote when I awakened and felt and really listened, finally listened to the little voice inside. And I called it a vision from afar. A ray of hope or a shining star. I saw a vision from afar, and its radiance did beckon me, and I had to get closer to better see. An awesome wonder filled my heart, for every day and moment can be a brand new start. So many changes happening for and through me, Helping me to create my condition, environment, and destiny. And I feel so blessed to finally let it be. As it was meant to be for me. Mm. 
Just breathe that all in, yo. <laughs> Your words are coded multidimensionally with the essence of that divinity. And I feel it. If you can feel it, you can leave some love for Robbie in the comments. And I wanted to just thank you once again, brother, for being here and for sharing your light, for being here on the planet and being this trailblazing star guiding us through the night. I'll be back later today at 4 p.m. Mountain Time with Tracy Montgomery, and she is from Root to Rise Integrative Healing. She is going to support us in an activation to calm the nervous system and come into more of that balanced harmony. So once again, thank you all so much. We are sending you so much love. Have a beautiful, blessed day.